should you ever be confronted with the temptation of taking that first puff of a marijuana cigarette, don't do it. Tonight, smoke two joints in the afternoon. Makes me feel alright. Smoke two joints in time to feast and two in time to pour. I smoke two joints before I smoke two joints and I smoke two more. Mother, she once told me, son, you will be hardworking man. Father, he was told me, son, you do the best you can. Then one day, that a man came to me and said, yeah, Hard work good and hard work fine, but first take care of it. Smoke the joints in the morning. I smoke the joints at night. I smoke the joints in the middle of the day and it makes me feel alright. I smoke the joints in town of bees and two in town of boy. I smoke the joints before I smoke two joints then I smoke two more.
people are told we live in a free country. When it's a crime to cure cancer, just what kind of country are we living in? Marijuana fights cancer. And what, what Rick Simpson has done that is so important is, is that he's shown us that to get the full medicinal impact of this plant, you cannot smoke it. You must eat a lot of cannabinoids. And the easiest way to do that is to make oil and eat the oil. If you are seriously ill, you need to eat about a gram a day for 60 days. But when you're done, 70% of the cancer patients are cancer free. Rick started giving away oil for free, growing it in his backyard. Hundreds of patients he treated for free. So the Canadian government arrested Rick Simpson, convicted him of being a drug dealer, and while he's at the Cannabis Cup now, just now, they have raided his property for the third time and are prepared to arrest Rick again when he returns to Canada. It is unconscionable to treat a saint in this manner. Rick Simpson is the Freedom Fighter of the Year. Rick. And a groundbreaking study has surprising results. It says the active chemical in marijuana kills brain cancer cells. The study suggests that THC causes brain cancer cells to essentially eat themselves in both studies with mice and humans tumors exposed to the drug shrank the study's authors say patients didn't suffer any toxic side effects and the results could be used to develop new strategies for preventing tumor growth it's not about justice it's not about agenda it's not about mobilizing people it's about dialing for corporate dollars these two parties have sold the u.s government and the american people to the highest bidders <laughs> Breast cancer kills more than 41,000 American women every year. Researchers in the San Francisco lab are working to shrink that number, and they're doing it with an unusual weapon, marijuana, or at least a compound from it. And what we found is that the, um, this compound called cannabidiol was particularly effective at inhibiting aggressive breast cancers. First, scientists at California Pacific Medical Center discovered a key gene which enables breast cancer to spread. Then they tested the pot compound and realized it could actually inhibit that gene's destructive path and stop the spread of tumor cells and potentially do it without harming a patient. We know that this compound extracted from cannabis is non-toxic in patients because it has already been used for different kind of disease. The benefits may not stop there. Scientists say the cannabis compound may fight other aggressive cancers, including prostate cancer. The next step, animal studies, then clinical trials. So it may be several years before patients may benefit from a cannabis cancer fighter. I think it's a promising, um, a promising avenue in terms of the treatment for aggressive cancers, in which is really where we need treatments for. Marianne Favreau, NBC News.